Um, hi, Jack here. I'm just here to say, just give a little bit of reflection on, on how far we've come so far. Um, in terms of my own personal thoughts, I think that is going really well. I mean, the shoot, I think that we pretty much nailed what we set out to do. The shots we used, we used a lot of mid shots. That's primarily what we did. Most of the shots we used, um, they're already planned out on the storyboard, and yeah, so um, we did add a few more shots and we did change a few shots around because we were in a new environment, uh, the Black Arts place uh, that we filmed at. It was, um, Tim had obviously been there before, but um, for myself and Charlie, we hadn't been there, so it was kind of hard to set up the storyboard and because I was basically the writer for this and I was the person who made the storyboard however it was kind of difficult for me to make a storyboard not really knowing the layout of the building and not really knowing um, what parts of the building we were going to film at but I guess we didn't really have time to go over there and check it out so that's why some of the um, shots were slightly different to like, what we had in the storyboard but overall I think it, I think it worked out nicely when Tim and myself were um, editing the footage, we were thinking about how how well the footage turned out and how it kind of exceeded our expectations. However, some of the you could hear uh, the door shutting over Tim's speech, which were kind of annoying. And unfortunately, weren't really much, there wasn't really much we could do about that. We could have dubbed over the voice, but we didn't really have time for that in the end. It would have been hard to sync up the footage with the audio and it would have sounded really artificial. Uh, of course we could have altered sound a bit um, in, in GarageBand or something using maybe some EQ or reverb or it. It, just, it. it would have sounded really artificial. So that's kind of, that bothers me slightly but there isn't really much we could do about that. There are some sounds of when we use the dolly track, uh, you can kind of hit, see the camera shaking slightly and um, you can hear the rumble of the, the wheels going over the floor on the dolly track. Uh, that was kind of irritating but I think once we actually put, put the music on top of the video, um, if we use some automation we can eventually get a nice blend between the two and we won't be able to hear all those little rumbles and the door clicking. So I think we can manage. In terms of editing it's going really well so far. After the third draft we made some differences in terms of the title, titles because they were kind of obstructing the, um, what Tim was saying and obstructing the footage. But we made all the titles a little bit smaller and moved them slightly so we also made it so that they would all fit on any kind of screen um, we also used some colour correction which we thought worked really well we kind of made it slightly reddish and made the brightness slightly lower just so it gives that sinister vibe but yeah the music I've had a lot of fun making the music and to alter the sound and the automation in the editing um, I think that will really work hand in hand with the music that I've made for it and we've all been sharing thoughts between us um, on what the music should sound like and I remember for, for the pitch we took inspiration from a movie that we liked um, and I tried my best to get uh, make some music that would sound like slightly similar to that in terms of blogging we're all trying really hard to get more and more blogs out there to get more and more information to you and we're trying really hard it's just finding that balance between our, all of our a-levels as well as this product um, it means a lot to us so we're all trying really hard to get it all perfect those are just my thoughts on what's going on now and how I feel about how it's turned out so far obviously there's a lot of work to be done this coming week and we're all trying really hard to prepare for what's coming which will be a lot of editing, um, a lot of hours spent on getting the audio perfect and put into the into the sequence. Until we finish, I guess we've got 
a little bit of syncing up to do in terms of audio, like for music. You've got to get that straight into the sequence and to make it, you've got to make it perfect. And I think automation would work best with that. And um, I think we've got to move around the credits slightly. And we were advised by our teacher that the credits slightly obstruct. I mean, we've changed it a bit, a bit, but we've been told that it's still a bit obstructing. So we've got to change the, tr the credits so that they are they always are not coming in where when Tim's speaking, but if they do, uh, so that they don't really obstruct in, in his face or his speech. Otherwise, it would just it would just kind of ruin it. So. Yeah, those are kind of what the things that we need to improve on and the things that we still have time to do. So, yeah, with a week, with less than a week left, um, I think this is going to work. I think it's going to work really well. It's worked really well so far, so I don't see any reason why it wouldn't go well. So, yeah, those are my thoughts, those are my feelings on how we're doing and how we're going to do. And, yeah, I think it's going to work out really well. Thanks for listening.